I'm outside. What's up babes and baby dolls and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all how I installed this blueless wig from Love Me Hair. This is their 10 inch bob that I absolutely love. Look at that, it is so fluid y'all and it is very convenient. If you would like to see how I got this look, then continue watching. So the first thing I did before I installed this unit is make sure that my hair is flat underneath the wig. So I do four plaits um, braided downwards. It's not perfect, okay? It does not have to be perfect. Just make sure your braids are nice and flat. So once I'm done working through my little tender head and getting that braid down, ooh, I was struggling. This is a wig straight out of the box. This is um, a 10 inch bob from Love Me Hair. This is medium Swiss lace. It's in medium brown. And it already comes with the elastic band attached to the wig so that it can already be glueless for you. That is what I love about this wig because sometimes I would get a unit and have to um, attach an elastic band and make it glueless but this already comes ready for you to throw it on like I love this unit y'all so it is very convenient a grab and go unit literally straight out of the box all you have to do is flat iron it and you know style it to your head and you're ready to go so here what I'm doing is of course, I'm going to do my ball cap method because I don't like my cap to be sliding off, etc., etc. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna be quiet. I did decide to just go ahead and cut my cap off, but I'm gonna show y'all how to secure your wig. You do is you pull this on first. Back. hair back while I cut this lace off. So to help guide me when cutting my lace, I cut the lace in four sections first and then I began cutting each section off. Um, and as I'm cutting, I cut in a zigzag motion close to the hairline as possible. So instead of cutting straight across, make sure you angle your scissors up, down, up, down, more in a zigzag motion. This gives it more of a natural effect. So next, I cut um, the lace around my ear shape. What I do is I take my finger and kind of part the hair according to where my ear is. And I begin cutting. It's not perfect, but you know, this is the hard part because I can't really just see what I'm doing, but I get the job done. So this is what it looks like after I cut the lace. This unit is pre-bleached, but I decided to go in and bleach my knots just a little bit more. 
again, this unit is pre-bleached and pre-plucked. But I decided to go in and bleach my knots just a little bit more. I think I left it on for about a good 15, 20 minutes. I don't even think I left it on for 20 minutes. But it was the perfect amount of time when I left it on there. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. So once I rinse that bleach out, I put the unit back on my head and blow dry it. This unit did take the bleach pretty well. It did not take long at all. Like I said, I didn't even leave it on there for 20 minutes and it bleached the knots. Again, it was pre-bleached. So that probably was a plus onto it, but it took the bleach pretty well. So once I'm done blow drying the hair, I then put the wig on my wig stand and I'm going to flat iron the hair section by section because I want it to be flat and straight as possible in all layers. And y'all, this hair is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it is super soft and the cut is really neat. Like it already comes cut neat everything like this is your go-to unit you need it like this is my go-to it's the auntie bob it's giving auntie <laughs> but i'll be quiet y'all <laughs> so before i start flat iron the front area of my head because I really wanted to flat iron the back. I couldn't see. But I'm going to flat iron the rest on my head. It does have a good amount of uh, parting space if you wanted to part it in different sections. So this is what I'm showing you all day. You, get, you do get a good amount of parting space. And I love how natural the hairline looks. I did not go in and pluck anymore because, like, it, like I said, I like how it already came pre-plucked. So here I'm just taking my hot comb and smoothing out the front hairline edges, making sure everything is nice and flat. This is what it looks like after I flat ironed the entire wig and hot combed it. It is super neat. Like look at this. I love it. So here I'm just taking a little bit of my foundation color and placing it right on that lace to help it blend a little bit better with my skin tone. And this is the finished look, y'all. What do you think? Like, I love how natural this looks. Like, it's giving. I will leave the link in the description box. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you in my next video, babes and baby dolls. Mwah! PT Two time baby girl you know me Oh my All the niggas around me Why did it die Gotta watch the time Cause it's fine right now I just caught a shorty off a fan star